Hello there. In this video, I'll demonstrate how to draw and interpret a Pareto chart to help with quality control. This question relates to problem 6.1 in your text. And here's our data. So we have a clothing manufacturer that runs a series of high profile risque ads on a billboard on the Trans Canada and regularly collects protest calls from people who are offended by them. The company doesn't know how many people see the ads, but it's been collecting statistics on the number of phone calls from irate viewers. In essence, the company has identified five categories of complaints, from offensive to demeaning to men, demeaning to women, incomprehensible, and other. And then here in the last column, the number of each type of complaint. Our objective is to depict the data with a Pareto chart and also produce a cumulative complaint line and then identify the total complaints that can be attributed to the most prevalent complaint. So I've taken the liberty of creating a blank graph in advance. On the left, we have our y-axis that indicates the number of complaints, and I've just selected a scale from 0 to 50. And on the right, I've also included another scale for the cumulative percentage of complaints that ranges from 0% all the way to 100%. So what we want to do is get these complaints into a chart. And how we do that is we actually rank them from the highest to the lowest number of complaints. So we can see that demeaning to women or W would be ranked number one, offensive being ranked number two, incomprehensible ranked number three, demeaning to men or M number four, and other would be number five. We'll place these on our Pareto chart in the order that we've identified them. So demeaning to women has the highest number of complaints with 14. So We'll draw this and we'll go to about 14 complaints, which is about here. Not exactly this scale, but close enough. The next one is offensive or R, and there are a total of 10 complaints. 10 complaints would be something like that. The third ranked is incomprehensible with six complaints. So six complaints would be about here. That's I for incomprehensible. Then we have demeaning to men, which is four complaints. So it's just below five here, that's men. And then the last one is other, which has two complaints attributed. Now that it equals a total of 36 complaints. So we've completed the first part of requirement A, which is to depict the data on the Pareto chart. Now we want to include a cumulative complaint line. By adding up the total number of complaints to be 36, we then calculate the cumulative percentage of each starting with the first ranked. So, so 14 divided by 36 is about 39%. So if we look at the purple axis, 39% would be about here. Not perfect, but pretty close. Then we add the next highest type of complaint to give us a total of 24. When we take 24 divided by 36, that's a cumulative of about 67%. So looking at our chart, let's say it's somewhere about there. Now we add in the third or incomprehensible. So 14 plus 10 plus six is 30 out of 36, which gives you 83% there. Then we add the second last one, or demeaning to men, so 14 plus 10 plus 6 plus 4 is 34 out of 36, which is accumulation up to 94% here. And then finally, we add in the last two, and that's going to bring us to 100% or 36 over 36, which would be about there. If I connect the dots, you can see that there's a slight bend to this, and that's how we come up with the cumulative percentage curve that's associated with the Pareto chart. So now we've completed the second part of requirement A. So what does this chart tell us? Well, it tells us that the most common complaint is W, or demeaning to women, representing 39% of the total complaints. And since there are five different types of complaints, we can also say that 20% or one of five of the types of complaints drives 39% or close to 40% of total complaints. So if we wanted to make improvements, what we would do is revise the advertisement so that it is not demeaning to women. And if we want to add in the second most common reason, which is R, or racially or ethnically offensive, we would also want to make sure that we produce an ad that is not offensive. And that's how we draw and interpret a Pareto chart. 